Hi guys, Travis here, Perth Diesel Performance. What we're here today to explain to you is the diff correction kit for a Toyota VDJ Land Cruiser. Uh, pretty much the biggest thing we have a lot of guys asking what offset wheels, spaces, what's legal, what's not legal, what are my options. Until of lately, there hasn't really been, in my opinion, a kit that sort of ticks all my boxes. Um, as you can see, obviously we've supported Ronnie's car for a long time now. Um, we've had issues with, uh, we've had one issue with a wheel bearing. We've had another issue with an axle on another trip and also maybe suspecting that the diff housing may be bent from the loads and obviously you've watched these videos and seen where he goes and you know used and tested the vehicle. So pretty much what we've decided to go for in his car is replacing out the standard diff housing and go for something that's stronger and more gussets in it chromoly axles so that we can get away from the axle issue that we've had previously. We had a little bit of damage on one of the threads on the spindle on his vehicle from, from the bearing failure, so forth. So in turn, obviously this ticks a lot of boxes in replacing that, still keeps a lot of OEM stuff on the vehicle. The biggest thing for me is the chromoly axles with a fully floating end cap that makes it a lot more serviceable, takes away that, that point where normally nine times out of 10 they crack on the, on the mounting plate, on the flange, on the bearing hub. Guys, so pretty much as you can see, the two diff housings are actually sitting here today. This is one out of a previous job we've already done, which you may be able to see the silver single cab in the corner there. Um, so it's not actually out of Ronnie's car, but it's exactly the same. And this is the unit that actually will be going into Ronnie's car. These are pretty much lined up here. And then obviously when you come over to the other end of the diff housing, we've got our correction there. So these Molly spun up inserts come a lot longer into the tube whereas the OEM ones aren't as far into the tube. Obviously we're going 100 mil wider, we're gonna get, need to get a lot more strength in there. The undersides of the diff as well, we've got gusset all the way, all the way, both sides. Your factory locker will go into it as well. Now when you come to your standard diff, you've only got this very narrow tube and so forth. So this is the leaf version as well. There is a coil version, we'll run through that in another video. This one here bolts directly into your leaf springs when I was talking about the axle sides of things, where they normally crack, which we've had with Ronnie's car, it just cracked right around here, right off here, um, and that's common. So that's, that's what we see a lot of guys. Torque, weight, wear and tear, weight, jarring. Um, when we come to the J-Max, the full molly setup, that slides in. There's a nice little molly housing that bolts up on your flange plate. You can actually pull this axle out with three three Allen keys and a circlip and slide it straight out of the vehicle on the spot. So which, but you're not going to have to do anything anyway because it's chromoly. You're never going to have that problem again. So that's the biggest thing that I like about it. And all your Toyota axle seals go in, your wheel bearings, obviously replace all the hub bearing grease. And if the bearings are in a serviceable condition, if it's near new, they'll go back in. Otherwise, like Ronnie's car here today, it's just straight out all new wheel bearings. So there's no mucking around. So this, this unit here, guys, what it's going to give you straight away, it's going to give you the track correction. It's bolt in, there's no grinding or welding. Your chromoly axles with your fully floating end caps so you can service them. You're not gonna have a, an issue with your axles again. Your factory diff locker bolts in, you don't need an e locker, you don't need an air locker. So if you've got the GXL version with your, your original Toyota lockers, it bolts straight into it. All your factory mounting points are all welded onto it. Your air bags for your leaf spring setups, um, that'll all adapt onto it. Depending on your airbag setup, they can vary a little bit but everything works. So there's no, you're not having to fabricate anything special for the vehicle. It's designed to be a generally a bolt-in kit. Obviously, how we fit them here at PDP, uh, we don't muck around taking the studs out of the housing. There's a, obviously hold the factory diffs back in, in here. We just put all new stuff. Same as your U-bolts, it's, it's all new. When you get your brake lines, obviously it comes straight. You do, it does need to be bent out to suit the vehicle. It's not a bad time if you're gonna upgrade your brake lines as well, because when we do it, we're gonna bleed the whole brake system because obviously the brake line's undone. It's another good time to look at the height on your proportioning valve on the rear as well. It's something we see that everyone's got a lift kit, but they've never adjusted anything there. So that'll give you a little bit more braking force to the rear. So it's something common we see here as well.